What is up guys, Taiki here, and in this video, I wanna discuss you know, what recently went on with the markets and how I'm thinking about my portfolio moving forward, as well as some changes I've made to my portfolio in the last 24 hours. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. None of this is financial advice. Okay, so as we all know, uh, the markets became a scam in the last 24 hours. Like literally, like last night, Bitcoin hit 40K, I bought the dip, I'm like, help me out here guys, like hold the line. And then when I woke up, you know, I opened my Coinbase account on my phone and the Coinbase Pro app wouldn't load. So I'm like, what the hell? I went to, I went to CoinGecko and I think I saw Bitcoin at like $33,000. And not going to lie, I was kind of freaking out. I'm like, what, like, what is going on? Because, I mean, this, this dump is unreal. I mean, if you're new to crypto, then welcome to crypto. Uh, but, you know, I think this is like the craziest dump that I've ever encountered in my short uh, crypto career. Because, I mean, look at this wick, right? I mean, from top to bottom, like this daily candle went almost $14,000 uh, to the downside. Um, and, crypt and Bitcoin is supposed to be the least volatile asset in all of crypto, right? So if Bitcoin dumped 30%, then think about every what happened to everything else. Like ETH went below 2K and Matic, I mean, Matic's trading at over $2 now, but it went like to $1.04. Pretty crazy. I was kind of scared that I would have been liquidated, but uh, I, luckily I was not liquidated. So always be careful about like what assets you're putting up as collateral and what assets you're borrowing against it. I always borrow stable coins, right? For the most part, like 99% of the time, because you know, even though my collateral are full of volatile assets, like if I'm borrowing a stable coin against it, then it just lowers the chances of me being liquidated. And like I mentioned, um, I did buy the dip. I bought some Bitcoin, so you see my Bitcoin balance up up here, uh, my USDC balance went down a little, and I made a slight change to my portfolio. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, where I said I'm bullish Ave and Sushi, you know, I was, after I posted the video, I was thinking to myself, why don't I own more Ave or Sushi? You know, if, when I was considering uh, whether to buy Ave or Sushi, um, the reason I chose Ave is, I mean, you're, you're seeing the reason here. I can use Ave as collateral, right? Um, even though I sold half my Matic bag for Aave, with my Aave, I'm still earning 21% uh, paid in Matic tokens. So this is like one way to justify that. Okay, I might mess up on the upside uh, for the Matic token, but I'm earning 21% on my Aave, and I'm bullish Aave. Like I use Aave every day, and if you're watching my videos, I'm sure you know how powerful Aave is. And also, um, I, I just want to discuss, I guess, this deposit and borrow APYs, and to help you understand like what's going on, because um, when the markets turn really red, uh, you might notice that the borrow APYs uh, go down. Right now, for stable coins, they're all under 4%. And the reason for this is because if you think about, I guess, like these borrow rates, these interest rates, they're set by the market, right? So these borrow rates will go up if there's more uh, demand to borrow. But and if you think about it, like why do people want to borrow stable coins to take on more leverage, right? People want to post Bitcoin as collateral take out stable coins against uh, your Bitcoin as collateral and buy ETH or buy Bitcoin, right? So it's, there's demand to leverage. But when the market dumps like 30% overnight, there's less demand to leverage. So, you know, these borrow rates go down. So, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm always taking out stable coins against my collateral, but, you know, if you want to think about like, if you want like justification on like why these borrow APYs fluctuate so much, um, that's one of the reasons. And you might notice that like, I think at some point, like a week ago, Tether, the borrow, the borrow rate was like 30%, but that's because the markets looked really good. But when the markets look bad, it's down. And uh, yeah, so I guess going back to what I mentioned earlier about, about like portfolio theory, um, I guess when like th these dumps do happen, it kind of grounds you. Like it makes you reassess your portfolio. Like yes, like Bitcoin can go down 30% in one day. Yes, ETH can go down 50% in one day. And yes, my other altcoins can go down 60% in one day. And I guess a lot of people, I think in crypto, there's this mindset that like fiat is trash, right? Dollars are trash. We don't want dollars. Buy Bitcoin, buy ETH, etc. But the power of DeFi is that there's so much you can do with your dollars. For example, on Aave, you can deposit it, earn 2.5% paid in USDC and 5% paid in Matic. You can borrow against uh, your collateral, right? It can be dollars, Bitcoin, etc. And you pay Aave 4% to borrow, but Matic will pay you 16% uh, in Matic tokens. So, you know, though dollars, like the asset itself is worthless, like worthless, right? It's like fiat. Uh, but there's so much utility that you can do with your dollars. 
So if you think about like what to do for the rest of the bull market, maybe we're not in a bull market anymore. We always have to have that thought at the back of my, back of our minds. Right now, for me personally, maybe I'm being too stubborn, but I refuse to believe that the bull market is over. Uh, I think six-figure Bitcoin is in the cards, and I think ETH has more room to run. But you know, always your own research. That's just my thought. So, but with poly with with the Polygon ecosystem, with Aave, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking some of your volatile assets and converting it into dollars because yes we talked about ave we also talk about curve right where if you deposit curve or if you deposit stable coins in curve you can earn 10 percent right on your dollars and be paid 45 percent paid in matic tokens so yes like if you sell eth for stable coins and you put it in put it into curve you might miss up on the upside you might miss out on the flip, the flipping the flipping narrative but while you're waiting for you know the dip that might come, you're earning 55% on your dollars. There's nothing wrong with that. Or if you wanna be, if you wanna be more, I guess not really risky, but if you wanna be complicate more things, then you can, you know, borrow dollars against uh, your collateral on Ave and LP uh, provide liquidity on Sushi. So for this LP position, like USDC Dipole, right? So there's two, the two stable coins, so that you're not gonna face impermanence loss. You can earn 90%. Uh, so there, there are so many yield strategies that exist out there. So uh, going forward, I'll every month I'm going to de-risk my portfolio. I don't care if I think Bitcoin's going to go to you know a million dollars in ten years or you know what, whatever like random narrative you have in your head. There's nothing wrong with converting your volatile assets into dollars and deploying it into these yield strategies. And uh, I also want to talk about yield forms. Um, I'm not in Polyzap. I do want to highlight Polyzap because I do think they're like the most well run. Um, I don't have any funds in the Polyzap, but you know, if you want a yield farm, you can earn, you know, over 100% on your stable coins. Yes, these yields will go down over time, but you know, start looking into these yield farm strategies because uh, the reason I have accumulated so much Matic uh, uh, on the Polygon ecosystem is because I just degen yield farmed a lot in the last three weeks. And I also want to talk about like more capital inflows uh, in automatic because yesterday I made a video about how I I'm predicting like more and more funds coming on the Matic from the Ethereum blockchain. And one of the reasons is like look at the like at the gas here. Right? I mean, I think this was like a few hours ago, maybe like 6 hours ago, but Gwei hit like almost 2000 on Ethereum, which is insane. Even if you're a millionaire, like you you're still being priced out. Imagine uh, you you're using Aave on Ethereum and you're about to get liquidated. Well, to not get liquidated, you want to add more collateral. But to add more collateral, you have to pay like six hundred dollars in fees, and at that point, it's not really worth it. It's Ethereum is like really pricing out retail right now. Uh, even like richer whales, um, I'm not sure. I'm sure these problems will be fixed over, uh, fixed over time. But you know, I, I do foresee more funds coming onto these scaling solutions, whether it be Matic, Phantom, Avalanche, Harmony One, Arbitrum, Optimism, etc. So always keep a look out on opportunities and you know, on other other chains because. Uh, if you're using Matic, like you understand how powerful it is, and uh, yeah, I, I'm, and I'm sure more capital will flow into these other chains as well. And uh, I guess also talking about like the assets I'm bullish on, uh, talked about Matic, right? I own lots of Matic. Uh, talked about Ave, I own lots of Ave, right? Uh, but I don't own any Sushi, partly because I couldn't use Sushi as collateral on Ave. But let's look at that data, right? I mean. On May 5th, there was less than $10 million of liquidity uh, on Sushi, on Polygon. But now, there's over $600 million. And on May 6th, there was, the volume was $15 million, And now, it's at essentially $300 million, right? So, I guess the upside of owning these uh, decentralized exchange coins is that when the markets are volatile, people are trading everywhere. So, the volume just goes up. And obviously, with more volume, there's more value accrual to the token. Uh, so, I'm still bullish for sushi. I do th I do want to pick up a bag at some point, uh, but you know, if 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 sushi ever gets listed on Aave, I'll buy it in this. I'll buy it instantly and put it up as collateral. Uh, and uh, with that being said, I hope that gives you like a better understanding of like how you should manage your portfolio. Uh, talking about how I'm managing my portfolio because uh, I can't give financial advice. But I do want to end the video on this point with this video. Is that you know, stable coins? Yes, they're dollars, and we don't want dollars. 
but there's so much utility that you can do with your fiat. And I wanna just wear this hat and just play this video to wrap it up. But this is how the majority of stablecoin farmers feel right now, you know? While everything is on fire, while people are screaming, running for the exits, you know, stablecoin farmers are earning 100%, 1000% APRs on the dollars. And what are you gonna? And what are we gonna do with those uh, stablecoin uh, stablecoin stack? We're gonna buy the dip, and you know we're gonna just keep uh, farming with those stablecoins, keep farming with Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. And I think that's the most powerful thing that DeFi offers: its yield on stablecoins and the utility that it gives. If you like the content, let me pause this. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day, and be safe out there.